my back it's early june the third of june to be precise and we are back in the mountains pyrenees greeted us from the start the valley covered in all sorts of colors various streams passing by a mountain lake what else can you ask for It wasn't an easy day though. We started only at 1 o'clock, so the sun was in full power. While the distance was okay for an afternoon hike, the elevation gain was quite brutal, reminding me once again that the Pyrenees are steep mountains. To say that the pass was windy is an understatement. It was hard to even hold my phone for this shot. On this day, we only came across a small patch of snow when descending the pass, and even then we could walk around it. At the refuge we found out that we have a room all to ourselves, so we had a great day there. Day two greeted us with snow, a lot of snow. The peaks above 2400 meters were mostly still covered in snow. We didn't have crampons and found the terrain fine to cross with the hiking sticks only. Crampons might be nice if you never cross snowy slopes before, as they can look quite scary. Descending both passes of this day required a bit more attention as it was rather steep and snowy. But hey, all the time we had amazing views.
After the second pass we entered the valley and from there the path was mostly straightforward. On day 3 we said bye bye to the mountains and descended back to the civilization. For the first hour mountains and lakes kept entertaining us until we reached a wooden path and from there descended to Volcaire. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, otherwise I'm sorry friends. From this town we left year 10 which continues in the east while low, our destination word today sits in the west. I usually find valley walks a bit boring, but this time it was nice to stare at the big peaks around me while walking on the road. And yes, there was quite some road walking. Although a walk in the valley, it was a nice ending to this beautiful weekend. 